Hello, I'm Roseanne from Breakfast Leftovers and welcome to the show. Thank you so much for watching and listening and enjoying the podcast. I'd really appreciate it if you do us a little favor. And that would be to like, subscribe, and of course ring that notification bell so that you can always be the first to know when our podcast drop. Thank you very much. Welcome to something. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the second installment of Something Whole and Then Some. Today's superfood is absolutely amazing. It's loved by so many. And funny enough, it's also hated by so many. Huh? This superfood has the power. What? I mean, the strength. What? I mean, the capability huh? to deal with issues like cancer. Yes, you heard correct. And I am so excited to tell you about this amazing superfood which of course you are seeing in the serving suggestions right now if you're watching and not just listening but uh, you're definitely going to be hungry through this podcast so it's wise you eat something while listening and watching uh hola como estas eh? okay right so this is the second part of something whole and then some. I'm Rosalie Ann and you are amazing. It's a breakfast leftovers podcast feature and um, it's very amazing hey. what I've got in store for you. Last time we were talking about the bananas and how amazing hey. bananas are and to think that there's a blue banana that actually tastes like vanilla. It's out of this world. It's it's beautiful. It's out of this world. Others even have reported that that blue banana tastes like bubble gum. I know, right? Bubble gum. It's madness. But it's not really. It's something whole and then some. So please, 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 we'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the podcast on your bottom right there of the screen and ring that notification bell so that the time I put up a podcast on YouTube, you'll be the first one to know about it. And it would be so wonderful if you could just hit the thumbs up button right now and like this podcast i really appreciate that thank you so very much so today hi sorry to disrupt your programming but here's a disclaimer breakfast leftovers life leftovers rose planet as well as all the features that are under of which rosie Ann is presenting are all tv on the radio yes that means that the theater is within your mind so if you're going to watch the podcast make sure that you're not hungry because if you're hungry you're going to get hangry which is a combination of hungry and angry which is something i often experience like I said, it's going to be so weird, but it's so beneficial for you. You know, like we're living in a world right now where there's just so much depression, so much anxiety and, you know, cancer. But this amazing berry type fruit, yes, it's berry type fruit. And it's a green berry type fruit, yes, green, green, trust me. You wouldn't even guess what I'm talking about unless you're one of those people who just knows a whole bunch of stuff. Well, kudos to you! But um, this green type berry actually it decreases the risk of depression and guess what else? And against cancer. Yes, honey, you heard well. I said cancer. Yeah. I'm talking about an avocado, avocado. That's what we call it here in South Africa. I don't know what other parts of the world it's called. It's called an avocado. I'm not quite sure. Do you, do you call it an avocado? Or well, other we call it avocado. Avocado. Don't ask. I won't tell. These guys provide such a substantial amount of monounsaturated fatty acids yes 
that's why some women are like no i'm not gonna eat avocados because they're just so fatty it tastes so good but it's like one of those pleasure f- veggies fruits no it's not a fruit it's not a veggie fruit it's actually a type of berry and they grow in warm climates like here in south africa we get a lot of them and in some places some grocery stores they have it all year long and back then in the days when that was happening it was just like something you paid a very big price for but now i think you can get them all year long in most restaurants in most uh well restaurants obviously because you know you have pizzeria pizzerias which have like avocado pizza which is pretty much amazing amazing. and you get that all year long so you can imagine these guys are just like all over the whole entire world a diet that actually contains a variety of fruits as well as vegetables can provide so much health benefits and it may actually for example reduce the risk of believe it or not those people who say no i'm not going to eat the avocado because it makes you fat well it does reduce the risk of obesity what Mm -hmm. as well as diabetes as well as heart disease believe it or not well you better believe it because it's very true and overall mortality while promoting a very healthy complexion and air yes yes and hair. it also gives you increased energy and it keeps your weight moderately in the same place you know like weight moderation it's pretty cool it's very cool so now that we know that avocados are actually a type of berry i find that one of those things that you would basically say to yourself how is an avocado a type of berry well guess what because it is (laughs) this very bright green fruit with a very large pit and a very dark leathery skin they're also known as alligator pears Mm. isn't that lovely yeah. So now you know avocado is a fruit. It is not a vegetable. Just because it's green. You, know, you get papaya and you get like that green melon. Those those are definitely fruits. You understand? And so is an avocado. So I I'm schooling you here. I'm schooling you. And besides being called an alligator pear or butter fruit, because boy, is it nice to just spread it on bread. Just like it is. But black pepper and some salt <laughs> it's lovely avocados are also a favorite of the produce section as we all know they basically the one big ingredient in a guacamole you know for dips and stuff like that and they basically turning up in everything from salads wraps even smoothies and brownies include avocado nut. So, what actually makes this pear-shaped berry? Yes, it's a super fruit. It is a super fruit. That's what makes it so special. It's a super fruit. And these guys are just so amazing because they recommended serving size is smaller than you'd actually expect, which is like just one third of the medium size of an avocado. When it comes to avocado, I get a bag. You heard right, a bag. As in a like I'm eating, which is very normal for the breakfast of over popcorn. Something whole and then some. Can't be talking about food and not eat. That's just wrong. That's just wrong. So, yes, I buy a bag which may have about 20 30 avocados inside. And that bag, I can make it at least one week. Okay, I like at least five days. <laughs> I know it's less, right? It's less. Mm, five days that bag can be finished. Like 30 avocados can be done. So, in moderation, mm-mm, that's not something my family can do. Avocados mm, are just so good. Okay, so I'm eating. We'll get back to um, avocados. I'm eating pork that I'm personally marinated and grilled 
with chicken, which I personally also marinated and grilled. And then you know how like sometimes the grill likes to take stuff to the bottom? So there's always water down there that's waiting for it so that it can go up and keep everything, you know, moist. That's the whole plan, as I always do. And then it's it's not a covered grill. It's open. It's open top grill. And then what I do is I take the contents at the bottom. I put it in a pot. So the chicken marinade and the pork marinade, they all come together with, obviously, the blood and all the juices from the meats. And then I put that in a pot but nothing else, just that. And I basically cook it. You know, I basically cook all that stuff and it all comes together and it becomes this amazing, amazing, amazing sauce. It is... It's amazing, I actually want to cry. But anyways, back to something whole and then some. And it is really, really good for you. It has a lot of potassium. It has micrograms of folate. It's got vitamin B6. It's got vitamin C. It's got vitamin E. I mean, avocados are low in sugar and they contain fiber. Yes, they do. Because have you noticed some there's the hairs? Some avocados have hairs, yes. Which helps you feel full for a very much longer time. And in actually one study, people who added a fresh avocado half to the lunch were less interested in eating during the next three hours than those who didn't have the, the fruit at all. So it's very, 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 very good. So yeah, that is about the amazing to avocado. Now earlier I did tell you that this awesome superfood can actually help you with things like depression as well as cancer. Isn't that amazing? It's amazing. Please remember to subscribe and like if you like the podcast. We'd really appreciate it. I'm Rose Leanne and now it's time for something whole and things. Alright, I hope you're doing well and uh, I would really appreciate it if you are enjoying the podcast to please click on like and subscribe to the podcast so that every single time we drop one, if you ring that notification bell, you're going to be the very first person to know about it. So right now, let's get back to that awesome thing. Something cool and then some funny. What do you call an avocado after a priest blesses it? Hmm? What do you call an avocado after a priest puts his hand and says, Oh, avocado, you are now the most amazing, blessed avocado in the whole entire world. Hmm? Hmm? It's holy guacamole. <laughs> Nonetheless, we'd still like you to like and subscribe to the podcast. Alright, so let's get back to podcast 41 about the avocado, something whole, and then some. Today's very delicious superfood has the ability to ward off prostate cancer as well as colon cancer. The folate inside actually prevents you from getting cancer. So, listen up. My nutrients in avocados may also treat cancer now isn't the good lord so good that he's literally planted all these great healthy wholesome nutritious delicious foods all over the world for our disposal so that we could eat and consume for so many sicknesses and so many ailments i mean the fact that avocado wards off cancer is just out of this world and just so fantastic and the crazy thing is it's not out of this world it is in this world and to make the cherry on top is being able to also ward off arthritis being able to treat depression being able to help so many people i mean we had a family member which was diagnosed with osteoporosis and if we had known back then that we could have just given them a whole bunch of avocado instead of flowers 
and buying them airtime okay obviously buying them airtime in a hospital that can also be handy <laughs> obviously but if we had known that avocado was actually a great way to deal with it we could have definitely done that the beauty is now you know and so vitamin k and avocados boosts your bone health by actually slowing down bone loss and warding off osteoporosis now this my dear friends i want you to take notice of this i live in a place in the north of south africa and it's called limpopo and in this beautiful place of limpopo avocados grows on trees almost everywhere and the people in limpopo they look amazing like magogos and stuff like that mkulus that's your grandparents just in case you didn't know but they look good their skin is so well they don't get sick so often and truly speaking i would say it is because of these super fruits that i'm i'm going to be talking about especially this one because you know arthritis affects a bunch of people and I won't lie, it is certain versions of arthritis that affect even women at a very young age, from 20 years and above. It's very common that the joints and the hands, so they start aching and your body just starts aching. It's just, ah, my body's aching. You know, it's like that. So, with eating, consuming avocados, regularly this actually helps to reduce those symptoms the vitamin k in avocados boosts your bone health by slowing down the bone isn't this just amazing Amazing. so now we also talked about depression depression research shows a link between depression and low levels of folate folate helps block the buildup of a substance called uh, homocysteine in your blood now homocysteine slows down the flow of nutrients to your brain and guess what it does this is the mother fudger that ramps up depression and the high levels of folate in avocados may help even keep depression symptoms at bay isn't that amazing that's amazing so now you know, we're going to start creating this saying and we're going to keep going with this until forever. Okay, I'm in. And it is, if you're feeling depressed, eat an avocado. It may not rhyme, but dude, it does the time. <laughs> that rhyme. So, there's also inflammation. Chronic inflammation can kick off many diseasing diseases. It, this obviously includes diabetes. Alzheimer's disease and arthritis and the vitamin E in avocados lowers inflammation in the body come on come on are you not convinced Hmm? are you not convinced that you should buy and eat avocados at least once a week and don't worry even if you feel like well I don't know where to find avocados because I live in a place where they're not so but don't worry in every single country I'm sure there should be restaurants that specifically cater with the avocado fruit yeah like seriously when I was doing my research for this podcast I came across hundreds of restaurants all around the world that specifically and mainly dealt with avocado and it was just so amazing some of the pictures that i saw you can also check it out what i'll also do is i'll put the link down in the comments for you to check it out maybe you find yourself close to one uh within your vicinity and maybe you want to go traveling around the world and pop into one of them so i'll definitely do that as well as put in a couple of recipes that'll help you along with avocado but like I said, it is a very simple way to eat it. Just avocado with salt, 
and some pepper, a little bit of uh, chilies, a slice of tomato, and I also do like garlic, you know. And here's a tip with garlic. If you feel that, and this is a great hack, if you feel that um, garlic really destroys your palate, um, by palate I mean like the smell of your breath, no stress. All you gotta do is when you have garlic, have it with somebody else. That way they will not smell you and you will not smell them. So that's the trick with garlic. If you're gonna eat garlic, share it. It's really a sharing plant when you think about it. Of course, that was the podcast about this amazing super food, super fruit. And as you've noticed, I do like the word amazing because the word amazing is amazing. But um, really, the mere fact you can defeat depression you can defeat arthritis obesity you can defeat alzheimer's as well as cancer by just making sure that you put avocado in your diet will be the greatest thing that uh, you can ever do for yourself so honestly speaking i learned quite a lot and i hope that you learned a lot too about this awesome superfood called avocado Now, it would be really awesome and fantastic if you could just do one, two, possibly three things for us. (laughs) And that would be to like this podcast, you know, share it with your contacts, as well as subscribe to the channel. So that every single time I drop podcasts, whether it be of Rose Planet, or whether it be on Breakfast Leftovers, or something whole and then some, or Life Leftovers, you will be the first to know and if you didn't know i'm also a an artist that is recording so right on that timeline of the videos that i've uploaded you'll find a music video which i'll be the one of course that you see that you see those eyes those are my eyes those are my my eyes okay i don't sound like that i'm i'm i promise you it probably sounds better than that so that's my little treat for you and i hope you enjoy it have some lunch enjoy enjoy eat 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 munch 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 nom, 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 nom. and remember in the comments you can also um just let us know what superfood or what food you'd like to talk about as well as what other things that you would like me to you know just bring on the interim if there's something that you didn't like in the podcast let me know so that i can straighten it you know discipline myself and you'll no longer see that again so truly thank you from the bottom of our hearts for liking subscribing whatever you do and uh, also remember that you are special remember that you're loved remember that you are god's gift to this world created to do so many amazing things and even if you haven't found your place yet along the way we will find it together i promise you listening to these podcasts will make sure that you find your niche your skill your art your craft in one way or another and if there's any problems that you have you know personally as well don't be afraid to hit us up on the email and um, that's also on those pictures so for myself ciao